right, guys. Today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about nutrition challenges because they are pretty much the most common way for gym owners to get you guys on board with dialing in your nutrition, dialing in your lifestyle outside of the gym. And there's a couple of things that are really good about them, but there's also a lot of things that are really bad about them. And I want to kind of talk about that because I think the main thing is getting guys to understand that if you're going to participate in nutrition challenges, that I do recommend being a part of your community to understand what you're trying to achieve and how to get the most out of them. So typically these nutrition challenges in a CrossFit gym are going to promote some form of paleo, whole 30, clean eating. Likely now they've transitioned into also having some type of a macronutrient or portioning component of it. Um, and you're meant to do these things for like 30 or 60 days. It often will eliminate a lot of, you know, artificial sweeteners and sugars and all those types of things. So the main problem I see with these challenges is like, what is the actual purpose of removing all of these things that these people are going to actually add back in after the 30, 60 or 90 days? So this is where I don't really love the challenges. Now, if you're going into this challenge and you recognize like, okay, I'm doing it to be a part of the community. And you also want to realize learning how to moderate those things, then you need to have an exit strategy. In which case, the biggest problem I see with these challenges in gyms is that they don't provide the exit strategy for people outside of the 30 days, outside of the 60 days. They might ask like, oh, like, what are you planning on continuing on? Congratulations. And everybody's at that point, super fired up. They just lost, you know, whatever, 10 pounds of water. <laughs> and they're like, I'm so good. I feel so good. I'm not stopping. And then two weeks later, it's like, oh, I had a couple of beers. And then it's like, oh, I had beer and wings. And then it's before you know it, they're eating beer and wings for breakfast on Monday morning. So the biggest problem I see is there's no exit strategy in that time that they spend together. They're, they're in this very restrictive plan that they don't even know how to eat healthy. And some of these challenges even promote a quote unquote cheat day, which really causes people to think, oh my God, this is the only day that I could eat these foods. So I'm going to eat as much of them as possible because I'm going to start my diet again tomorrow morning. So there's this huge like misconception between the actual application of these things beyond the challenge. Now, like I said, I like them for the fact that it's you and your community. It's you, you know, enjoying yourself with your friends and, and you want to participate, but you have to understand the goal. So the real goal of these challenges, like I said, is to get you guys to start streamlining things to pro progress on. Um, and I think a better approach is honestly not to think of these challenges at all. 